Nesson, and today I'm going to be talking about platformers. So yeah, what well, well, if you guys uh, um have have seen my channel for five seconds, then you obviously know I talk so much about Mario, of course. But what are, but, but what are the other platformers? What, what are my favorite platformers of all time? Well, today we're gonna be talking about the top ten. My personal top 10 favorite platformers of all time. Without further ado, let's go. But before we get... Well, well, let's we'll, we'll say that again. Oh, Alright, now before we begin, let's start off with the rules. Now, 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 I have one rule with this list, and that is one game per franchise. Like a lot of other YouTubers do. Because I do not want this list limited, well, or I, I meant not limited. I do not want this list flooded with Mario or Sonic or whatever, or Kirby. I don't want it to be flooded with those, so yeah. But without further ado, that's a goal. Alright, number 10. Are you guys ready for number 10? Are you guys ready? That's a goal. Alright, starting off, we have Banjo-Kazooie and banjo Two. Yes, I'm including both Banjo-Kazooie and banjo Two here. The Banjo-Kazooie games are really, really great. And I definitely consider both of them to be true masterpieces of the N64. Which, which they later got remastered for the Xbox 360. And both these games overall are really great. They, they, they really changed three platforming forever. And, with, 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 with the whole collectathon vibe, it works really well with this game, and, 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 overall, and the overall exploration of it, of, it, of it is really cool. And both these games have really, really great music from the legendary Grant Kirkhope as the um, composer, and and, 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 and the stuff that you like in this game is really cool, and the world has so much variety. The variety of this game is filled up. And the moves that Banjo and Kazooie can do are just really, really cool. And, and this game is just so much fun to play, even though I've only beaten both games once and played them for the first time, like earlier this year, like early 2021. But both of these games are really, really fun. And I highly, highly recommend you guys check them out. And, 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 and I highly, highly recommend them. And the gameplay here is just really, really fun. And the, and, and the overall style of it is really great. So yeah, let's move on to number nine. Number nine. All right. So next up, we got Mega Man 2. Yeah, I've never really said this before much on my channel, but I love the Mega Man series. It's it's one of, it's one of my favorite video game series of all time. But but. But of all of the 11 mainline games, which one is my favorite? Well, that, well, well, of course, this is a popular opinion, but Mega Man 2. Mega Man 2 is, it, 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 well, I mean, a lot of people's favorites. The game is so much fun. It, it, it's very hard, but very fun. And, oh, and, 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 and it really changed the series, and for some good reasons. And it really made the series the way it is now, and definitely the one that fans love the most, including me. And, and, and it, it, of course, uh, the, the soundtrack is, is amazing, and the levels are really great, and the Robot Masters are the most unique, and, that, and that's what and that's where this game really, really shines. And the gameplay just overall is just so good. And of course, the Mega Man games are short, so they'll only take you a couple of hours, but they're really fun to play through, of course. Especially this one, obviously, which is the best one, Mega Man 2, yep. Yeah. That's one of my opinion, and and, and... and this game is... is the most unique, the most... It has the most variety, has the most... Uh, it has the most fun to it, the most charm to it. This game really outshines the rest, and for some very, very good reasons. Let's move on to number 8. Alright. 
So next up we have Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. Now I have played the Unsane Trilogy, and I've played Crash Bandicoot 4, but out of the two, I definitely prefer Crash Bandicoot 4. Crash Bandicoot 4 is just a masterpiece, and it's definitely one of my favorite games of 2020. And the gameplay is just really, really great, and by far the best part of the game. And, and this game also has... It also is by far the best story in a Crash Bandicoot game, and the gameplay here is just really, really fun, and I, I, I really like the, the mask, and I, I like how they have skins for Crash and Coco, that's really cool, and the, the levels are just so unique, and music's really great, 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 of course. Yeah, both these games, well, not one of both these games, this game just feels really, really great, and definitely my favorite Crash Bandicoot game, and... And it's most unique and everything, and yeah, it's just truly, truly a masterpiece. And and the worlds you you can find are really cool. And this is also the perfect way to bring back Crash Bandicoot after a long hiatus of an original Crash game. And it's also the perfect way too to um for it to be a true sequel to the original trilogy. Although it ignored any continuity after, um, or any previous continuity after Crash Bandicoot 3, like, like the Wrath of Cortex and onwards, it, it was definitely done the best way possible, and I really hope a Spyro 4 happens too, and I will be talking about Spyro in this video, but be patient. And, 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 and but overall, the world, the style of this game, the, the platforming gimmicks, yeah, and the characters, they're, all, they're just all really really great and really really interesting and yeah and the, game, and the gameplay just feels so fresh and everything but let's get on to number seven all right next up we're, 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 we're talking about race now has currently i believe Five mainline Rayman games, not counting the handheld side games and the spin offs like Rayman Arena or, or whatever, and the Rayman Rayman Rabbit games, all those games aside though. Um, so, the five main games are, of course, Rayman, Ray, Rayman, well, 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 Rayman, Rayman 2, Rayman 3, Rayman Origins, Rayman Legends. I have played all five of those except for Rayman 2, and I definitely say that Rayman 3 is my favorite. Although I never actually finished this game, even though I really should one day, the, the gameplay here is, is just the best, and <laughs> although this game wasn't made by by the Rayman creator, Michelle Ansel, this game is, uh, is, is still really, really great, and the gameplay is just... It's just really, really unique and just really, really great, and, 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 and definitely one of my favorite three platformers ever made. And, and this game is just truly a classic of 2003, and, and it's also one of my favorite games of the sixth generation. And the gameplay is just really cool, and I, 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 I really like the new gameplay gimmicks, and yeah. And, and, and the new additions to this game are just really, really great, and... And, and, and this game is just filled with variety, and, and, and it's definitely a must-play. And I definitely want to go back to it one day. Let's move on to... Number 7. Watch it, number 6. Alright, so next up, we have... Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. So I've talked about this game of course before already. A, a couple of times on my channel. But this game is truly, truly a masterpiece. And, 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 and definitely one of the best platformers in the last 10 years. And, and, and the gameplay here was it's by far one of the best parts. Even though I've said that about, about the other games on this list. This game was a perfect sequel to Return, and and and, and definitely and, and definitely have lots of, of, of quality of life improvements that, that make it surpass its, um, its predecessors. And, and the gameplay here is just really, really great, and and 
And yeah. And, 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 and I like how they brought back the, the, the underwater mechanic from, from the original trilogy on the SNES. And the gameplay, well, we'll talk about the gameplay before. The story is also pretty good. The game is, is about these, these, these creatures called the Snowmads invading DK Island. And, and the story is pretty good, and the gameplay helps add to that. And even add new characters that, that weren't in returns. Uh, of course, Diddy Kong's back, Dixie Kong is. is, is, is um, <laughs> Dixie Kong is now added, and Cranky Kong was added, and Switch version, Funky Kong. Of course, those, those, those characters didn't originate in this game, but... But... But the return in this game is just really, really cool, and... And they each have their own gimmicks, basically, which I really like, so yeah. And then this game is just truly, truly a masterpiece. You definitely need to play this game. Highly, highly recommend it. Now let's go on to number... F well, number... Well, well, well actually this is number 6. So, uh, so, so let's go to number 5. I thought this was number 5. I, th I thought this was number 5 for a minute. Let's go to number 6. Alright. So once again, including two games once again, but next up we have Ori of the Blind Forest, and it and its direct sequel that continues off of that one, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Both these games, I love them so dang much. I mean, both these games, they truly are masterpieces, and by far, and and and, and exactly by far, one of, one of the best platformers I have ever played. Period. Well, both these are. And the Blind Forest was a good start to this new IP from Moon Studios. And there's also the. There's also the. Uh, okay, I don't know why I keep starting. There's also the start. Uh, uh, of that studio, of course. And, they, and, and the first game, or in the Blind Forest, was really great. As it. Of course, the story was pretty sad, but. but, but, but well, the games are about this spirit creature and Ori going around this this forest. Uh, of course, both these games are. But the first game was already really great by by introducing a a game that plays like a lot of Metroidvania games and 2D platformers at, at, at the same time. And and, 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 and and both these games are truly masterpieces. They have amazing music, perfect gameplay, especially in the Will of the Wisps. The Will of the Wisps easily improved on it by adding new melee combat, adding multiple weapons, and, and, and what I really like about both these games is the world, the forest, and both these games are really, really great overall, and yeah, both these games truly, truly are masterpieces, and the story is so great too, the first game with the force of Nibel dying, and, and that is pretty good, and the second one about, about Kuro and stuff, which is that owl thing, and uh, 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 the second one focused more on that, and yeah, and, and the story in the world of the Wisp was even better, of course. Both these games truly, truly are masterpieces, and are definitely worth playing, whether you're playing on PC or Xbox or even on the Switch. Both these games are just really, really great, and the gameplay here overall is just really, really great. So yeah. Let's move on to number four. Alright, next up we've got one that you probably have heard a ton, I mean a ton of praise for. Like, like, like this game is just so incredibly acclaimed. And that is Double I Heard True. I love this game. This game was a perfect com uh, um, game that was uh, very inspired by a lot of the NES platformers. And, and, and it was a great way. The 8 bit style overall is just really good. The gameplay game is just great. The story is just really great. Everything about this game is really great. And the music, everything. Everything about this is just. 
it is almost well, or I guess probably is flawless, and 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 of course this game is very inspired by a lot of NES platforms like the Mario Bros, and the Mega Man, Castlevania, DuckTales. It's heavily inspired by a lot of NES platforms, and. And, 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 and all, all the boxes that you can on the levels are really fun, the gameplay is really great, and, and, and the scene is pretty hard, but incredibly fun. It, it's a very hard game, but incredibly fun game, and such a masterpiece. And overall, the, 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 everything about the game, the graphics, the gameplay, the story, the music, everything about the game is really great. And, uh, and, and later on, Yakov game, as this game is also their first game, they even did some expansions later on with with other characters they encounter in the game as bosses. They did first they did one with Plague Knight, then with then with Sex Knight, then King Knight, and then they made this the side game mode with Shell Knight Showdown. That was pretty fun. I got to see what Yacht Club Games has in the future. I like what this game so much too. It's truly great and definitely a, a, a perfect start for Yacht Club Games. And it's also my favorite indie game of all time. Yes, this is my favorite indie game ever, ever made. Definitely play it if you haven't already. Alright, so next up we got the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. So I'll talk about this game, of course, in my top 10 best video games of all time video, of course. But these games, all three of these games, and, and, and I'm mainly including the Reignited Trilogy here, which is the remake from Activision and Toys for Bottle, of course. And both of these games, well, well actually not, what not both of them, all three of these games are truly masterpieces. The first game was already excellent, the second one was even better, and the third one is by far the best of the trilogy. All three of these games are just Truly, one of my favorite games of all time. Or I guess three of my favorite games of all time. The three of my favorite games ever. I mean, both these games are just well. I, I, well, I keep saying both. I guess all three of these games are really great. And the platforming here is it's really unique. I love the, the world, the level designs, and and, and 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 of course, there's also a collectathon platformer. And saving the dragons is really fun. And all the collectathons bulls are, are really great. And the story in all three games is just pretty good overall. And the remakes, especially, Activision and Toys for Bob did an incredibly great job on them. And the graphics are, uh, are, so, are so good, of course. And the gameplay is just so good. The story is really great. The all flexibles are just so good. The music is, 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 is pretty memorable. Everything about both, about both of these games just feels nearly perfect and everything. And these are some of the best games I've played in existence, and truly some timeless classics. So let's move on to number two. Alright. Next up, we got Sonic Mania. Now, I actually have said before that Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is my favorite Sonic game, but that has changed. As my opinion, do change, obviously. And Sonic Mania actually is my favorite Sonic game after all. Sonic Mania was it was the perfect callback to the classic Sonic games. And if you made by someone who made Sonic fan games, then he was and Christian Whitehead so good as Sega hired him to make this. And, and it was really great that so this game just truly brings back the old days of, 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 of the platforming and Sonic especially. Especially since since Sonic games has been under a bit of a dark age to him lately. So, so this game was definitely one of the best Sonic games I've played in years and and or, or, or actually no the best one I played. Sonic Mania, it's just truly perfect, and and, and, and and the Encore DLC they made a year later added so much more content in, in, in such a great way, and, 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 and the mo both Mania mode and Encore mode are so fun to play, and, and, and these games are just so much fun, and the worlds and everything are just so good. 
And Zori is pretty good too, I guess, as well. And yeah. And, and, and the music is the so memorable, the mini games are fun, it's everything about this game. They're perfect. Well, well why can't they use these things? It's one thing, okay. Sonic Mania, though, Sonic Mania is an excellent game. Definitely play it if you haven't already. But, so, so what about the number one game? Find out what it is now. Alright. That's, that's not a surprise at all because other than Final Fantasy VII, this is the game I praise the most on this channel. As, 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 as this game and the sequel are my second favorite games of all time. But Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2, they're just... you have to play them. Both these games are truly what reminds me of why I love 3D platformers so much and video games so much. In fact, without these two games, I probably wouldn't have been doing YouTube at all. As both these games, they, they truly made me the person that I am now. And both these games make me remind me to myself I love, I, I love video games so much. Most of these games, they truly help my title set, basically. And the gameplay is just so good, the story is so great in both. And, and, and this game just changed Mario games and platformers in such a good way. And, and these are two of my favorite video games of all time. I've beaten Super Mario Galaxy 5 times, I've beaten Galaxy 2 3 times, and they're just, they're just, a, they're just, I don't wait to play. I can play them every week if I want to. <laughs> the games are so good that I can play them for a week if I want to. Or, 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 or every week, I guess. And... And... We're not, we're not, we're not saying like, that I play through these games every week, but yeah, this is a joke, I guess. All that, all, 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 okay, all jokes aside, both these games are just masterpiece, masterpiece, masterpiece. Super Mario Galaxy 1, it, it started it all off with, what, what, what started this duology, it started this sub-series. Galaxy 1, it, it, it brought it, it, it started the Galaxy Formula first. Although, although it is linear, I don't mind it, it's actually linear in a good way. And the gameplay is just really good, and, and both, both Starship Mario and, and the Comet of their story are pretty good hub worlds. And, and the game player is really amazing, of course, Galaxy 1 introduced the white girl Lena, and, and the gameplay and both are just, the gameplay and both are just really, really great, and, and everything about them just feels flawless, and Galaxy 2 brought it to the next level by adding Yoshi, seriously, play both of these games if you haven't already, Galaxy 1, Masterpiece Galaxy 2, Beyond a Masterpiece, and, 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 and they're two games that... I just love them so much. They really mean a ton to me. They're why I'm here today. They're why I'm here doing YouTube. There's the reason I'm here doing YouTube. And yeah, both both these games are just really great for both nostalgic reasons and game and and, and just for how good the games are. And yeah. And, anyway, that was it for this video. I will see you guys next time. Agent X out.